Carita. Welcome to Teach Me Pokemon Unite Edition. Look, I know Pokemon Unite came out. I know there's a lot of videos. This is more of a fun guide for you guys to know my personal take on how to play different Pokemons, how to be, you know, pro at them, and really what the good and bad are about each Pokemon. Now, before I start talking about Wigglytuff, who is actually one of my favorites now, I do want to mention how much I am pissed off at the Pokemon Unite, the way they built the game. One, clearly, I know everyone's thinking of this. Yes, it is a pay to win model for the time being. I know you can earn your way there, but they made the game so predatory that forces you to, you know, if you're not going to be part of the more elite players, you got to pay money for it. If not, you're not going to enjoy your time. That's what the game is built on. It kind of reminds me of NBA 2K, why I quit that franchise. Grind to get to level 99, maybe one solid month of playing maybe five to six hours a day versus player who just pays 50 bucks and you get 99 and you beat everyone and you get more achievements after that and you get more benefits and you feel like you're the best player. It's the fact that you, you built an artificial wall for people who don't pay and people who pay to benefit is what makes the rank part of this game really bad. And if you don't know the perspective of why this is bad, mathematically, here's a little chart. You can totally see without an item, with an item, level 10, you double it basically, and level 30, whew, you're just going to win the game with no upgrades to items. And that's the issue when I made my first video a while ago, the items make a difference in the game. The fact they made this an external factor to the game, instead of being based on skill, but based on how much money you invest in these things, that's a problem. This move alone, if they don't adjust, is going to lose a lot of the fan base from playing in the ranked. And if you don't play ranked, well, what's the point? There's only four maps you can really play. Technically two because they change the quick ones once in a while. You know, this game's going to be really stale until you make it more fair for everyone to entry point to play the game. Number two, this is a team game. It's called Pokemon Unite. What do you do? You unite together. Not solo it like Kirito from Sword Art Online. I swear to God, I almost punched my screen on one of my streams because people don't understand. I can't solo this if I'm playing a Elder Goss. Do you know why? Because I'm here to heal you. What am I supposed to do? Heal myself so I die less when a two on one advantage against me? I'm gonna die. My points are gonna go to the opponent and they're gonna kill you. Like, it is pretty obvious. If I'm gonna play as support, if I'm playing, you wanna play as a team. Don't solo it. And number three, this is the reason why I'm really upset is there's a limit to how much money you can make in AO's coins in the game, which is 2100 currently right now per week. That's a f you for people who want to play different Pokemon, play in the practice mode. The practice mode, you can play every Pokemon. Therefore, you get a good feel which Pokemon you feel more comfortable with. For me, I actually paid 50 bucks to get, I think, seven of the Pokemon unlocked. Was it worth it? No, I wish I knew about the practice part. Do I regret it? Yes. But for YouTube, this is for you guys to know, I regret. Also, I did Battle Pass 2, I also regret on that. That's a complete different story. Anyways, we are talking about the Puff. The Jiggly Wiggly Puff. Puff. So right now, I use Unite DB, which is a great website for Pokemon Unite to know what kind of build you want, what kind of items are available, what kind of Pokemon you want to play. So far, the official notes are Wiggly Tough as a supporter. The weirdest thing is, I have not used it as a support. I've honestly used it as a death machine more, which is why none of these labels really make sense to me. <laughs> There's two ways to play Wiggly Tough. You're here to make everyone fall asleep and slap them to wake up, or you're here for the kill. That is literally the different ways you play Wiggly Tough. I still don't get this rating. It says the support is nine. I really never have supported people. Also, Pokemon Unite DB, there's tier list. For some reason, Mr. Mime is a D. Do not trust this list. Mr. Mime is actually A type, and I will readjust that list later on in the later months. So, the ability Q Charm if a Pokemon that's a physical attacker touches it, it kind of stops and doesn't want to attack. That's not a big deal, it just means physical attackers slow down their attacks. The base attack, every three attacks, the third one just does a little bit more damage. That's standard. Now, the cool, unique parts. You got two moves when you learn. It's Pound and Defense Curl. Pound, it just hits hard. Defense Curl, when you use it, it resets your move, so that's great. So you just Pound, Defense Curl, Pound, Defense Curl. And Defense Curl allows you to move around, so that's great. Now the upgrade moves. Mm, that's the biggest part why Wigglytuff's the best. You got Sing and you got Rollout. Sing is really the best move in this game. It's one of the best. I'm not even kidding. As long as you stay two seconds around your opponent in the area, they fall asleep. 
for about one to two seconds. In that time, you can either beat them, you can run away, or you can score. It's so flexible with GitHub because the Pokemon is unpredictable what you're gonna do next. And if you're sleeping, you're like, I don't wanna get my kicked by Wigglytuff, which is like baller move right there. You don't want that from Wiggly, well, too tough for you. The other move is Rollout, and Rollout is like a bigger version of Defense Curl. I personally am not the biggest fan because if you're playing Wigglytuff, you're you're honestly just going for the sing. But if you want to go for a super kill mode Wigglytuff, yeah, you use Rollout. And then your final upgrade move, which is Double Slap and Dazzling Gleam. I do not know why anyone would pick Dazzling Gleam. I know people are like, oh, but Wigglytuff's a special. Wigglytuff's goal is to slap. What should you do? Slap. You want to keep smacking them, smacking them, and then make them go to sleep. Smack, smack, smack. Use the double slap. Use your basic slap. Sleep. Slap, slap, slap. Your goal is to make sure everyone gets a slap. And the fire, your unite move, basically, you use it so then you heal a bit. You put shields around everyone, your teammates. That is legit the only legitimate support move it has. I know people can say Sing is a support move. In my opinion, I'm using Sing to kill. Not to help my teammates. Maybe I help them slow down my opponents. But I'm using it for the kill. So, with really get tough, you are not a support. Your, your, your goal is to up and up well. Items to use. Now, Wiggly Tough is very unique that theoretically it should be a tank to support. You could go with the traditional health items, which, you know, perfectly fine. Any of them could perfectly do. However, I strongly would recommend making it both a versatile tank. So, leftovers or assault vest or rocky helmet, both. Flowstone and Muscle Band are one of the best beginner sets. If there's any Pokemon you want to make, use those two because one, uh, your base attack increases, but also the speed increases, so you can hit harder and faster. And the Flowstone allows you to move faster and you can hit harder too, so most physical people, you want those two because uh, for Wiggly Tough, even if you have bulk, there's a good chance your opponent runs away, you want to be fast enough to catch up to go boop 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 Battle items on the other hand, uh, I will use a check button. I find Eject Button by Universal Standard is one of the best items because it gets you out of scenarios. I know people like to use Potion too, that's perfectly fine. Now how do you play Wiggly Tough in the game? You start off by hitting, game, uh, game pound, start beating people, get defense scroll, repeat, boom 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 boom. You want to level up as fast as you can, and you want to go straight to the middle as fast as you can so you can start killing off your opponent. If you're a physical beater or you're special, uh, any Pokemon that's in the middle or even on the opponent's side gets killed so they can't really level up as fast as you are. So you're going to try to get there, try to tease your opponent to come after you, and then we come after you, hopefully you'll be by level 4 by then. That's the goal. So you want to level up as fast as you can to level 4. When you got Sing, it's game over in early stages where you just Sing, Slow them down, they can't low low fast. You're just teasing them, you're killing their the kills, you're tag teaming with your teammates. Hopefully you have a brew or you have a speedster on your side to help knock out opponents when they fall asleep. Your goal is to make sure your opponent cannot level up faster than your team. And because of that, that's what makes Wiggly Tough unbeatable with just Sing alone. Double Slap makes it even better, but it's the fact that the Sing pauses them from leveling up fast. Because in the mobile game, you need level up fast to win. It doesn't matter about scoring goals in the early stages, you die less, you win more because you level up faster. I I'm just gonna put up the thing I put in the last video over here. That's the whole point you want to play in Pokemon Unite. So after you take the dominating point, or if you're losing, that's totally fine, to blame your teammate. You can help your teammates fight against the wild Pokemon, the wild assist Pokemon. Unfortunately, Wiggly Tough doesn't do too much damage and the sleep doesn't do too much to those Pokemon. And then my favorite part at the end of the game is trolling the hell out of your people if you're winning. like. In my opinion, if you win, if you destroy all four towers beforehand, uh, just stay at their opponent's base. Every time they come respawning, just put them to sleep and then just run around because they can't leave because you're making fall asleep. And when they get out, game over. Your, your teammates are ready to kill them. So that's how you play Wiggly Tough throughout the whole game state. You want to level up as fast as you can to get to level four? Then tease everyone and make sure everyone gets locked. That's how you play Wiggly Tough. So Pokemon you should be afraid of. Supporters and Rangers. I'm gonna talk about Rangers first because it's obvious. Rangers who can hit far, can cause stats in the middle on you. Your goal is to sleep them, but if they keep going further away and keep attacking you, it's really hard for you to take advantage of Wiggly Tough. That's why you want to scope out the brute Pokemon and make sure that you become the wall against them. So Porus, on the other hand, is kind of stalemate. No matter how many times you put a Pokemon to sleep, Snorlax or Elgos, for example, they just keep healing or they keep immune, and because of that. It's hard for you to really push game state because you're in kind of dead draw. So it really depends on who your teammate Pokemon is to help push that layer. 
Now, who you want your teammates to be? Honestly, everyone except support. Like, support's fine. It's just a, a tank will love you because they can finally hit people without them running away. A ranger will love you because if you fall asleep and you keep hitting them and they run away, they can get them. And a speedster will finish off the job. So, everyone loves a Wigglytuff. And that's how you become pro with Wigglytuff. Now, I was shocked when I played Wigglytuff because I was like, this this can't be a good Pokemon, it's a support. But it is by far almost stronger than Garchomp, which by the way, I am a Garchomp main. So this is like, whoo! I have gone so many wins with Wigglytuff, it's not even funny. And I strongly recommend, if you got pick a Pokemon and you like around and you like to hit hard, Wigglytuff is by far an S tier in my mind. If you know how to use it, it's game over for your opponent. But I will say, it, it, Wigglytuff your teammates don't know how to do it. It's not that hard. Your goal is to unite. Play together, don't play solo. If I die, you're all So support your Wigglytuffs if you play online. I know it's a kid's game. Kids, learn teamwork. Anyways, play Wigglytuff. Play in practice, you're gonna love it. And trust me, it is an S tier in my mind. If you like these kinds of videos, like, comment, tell me what's the next Pokemon you want to see. Obviously, my next video is going to be about Mr. Mime because I got to show the United Database people it is a f***ing A, if not an S tier 2 because legit is one of the funnest Pokemon to play. But trust me, go play Wigglytuff and do the Wiggly Pop Tough.